Hello and thanks for watching this Cloud9 ERP Solutions video and subscribing to our YouTube channel. In this series of videos of Acumatica 2023 R2, we're going to talk about sales territories. So in Acumatica CRM, you have the ability to create assignment maps. So we have assignment maps for many different things. You can create your own. But essentially for assigning leads or customers or contacts. And what the assignment allows you to do is assign it to particular sales reps. But in the past, assigning leads based on some sort of territory meant you had to go in and create different rules, maybe by state um, or by different area, by zip code, by country. And essentially it was a lot of work. So in 2023 R2, Acumatica has added sales territories. I have a couple here, but if we click on plus, you have the ability to put in a territory. So we'll call it territory. I have examples in the previous screen, but. And you can assign it by country. So for example, you can have all your countries in maybe Asia and you can check them all off. Or you can do it by state. And once you do it by state, you pick the country. And then it'll give you a list of states. Not every country might be defined with states. But in Acumatica, you have the ability to go to your countries and states area. And I'll show that in a second, where you can set up all your different regions or states based on the country. But for United States, you can see all the states here. So you can come in here and check off the ones you want. Notice these are already checked off. They're based on Southeast. Take a look at that example. So for this one, the Southeast region, I checked off a bunch of states in the Southeast area. So this is how we create the different territories. Now, if we go back and we look, one other example here, you can also do it by other. And essentially, this is just a placeholder. So what you can do with that is essentially create maps and maybe populate in the zone name. We're going to see the zone under leads, contacts, and, and other screens in a moment. Now, if we have any territories that are based on state or country, then when you're looking at our countries page, we mentioned this earlier, how you can go in and look for your country and then define states underneath it if you want. But if we go back to US, notice not only did we assign them over in the sales territory area, you can also assign your territories here. So for example, if Arkansas happened to be part of the Southeast, we can certainly select it assuming it was created in advance. So you can get an idea of your states and what territories this has been added here. Now, if we take a look at our lead screen and we open one up, under CRM info, you can see the sales territory ID. Now over here, you have the checkbox where you can override the sales territory and select what you want. Notice we can see the other territory type as well as by state. But if we uncheck that and we go back to the contact info, and let's say we move their address over to Florida and select it. Go back to CRM info. Notice it automatically assigns the sales territory ID because this territory is based on state. So again, state or country will automatically assign. If you pick other, then you can manually assign. Now, Having said that, assignment maps have also been updated. So we go over to assignment maps, I've opened up lead assignment, and how you assign to specific users. So for example, maybe we have leads qualification. We can add another one here. But maybe we have a rule where we want to assign leads to Maxwell. So under our rule actions, we would select our employee find Maxwell Baker. But under our conditions, why do we want to do that? Well, we would assign Maxwell the leads 
based on the territory now. So of course, in our assignment maps, you can pick any field you want. So all of these different entities under a lead, anything from activities to address. But if we go to leads, the field territory is in there. And we could select it and pick the territory that we want. Notice it only lets us pick an other territory type because countries and states are automatically assigned. So it's letting us, in this case, override and pick a territory type of other. So that's sales territories. Gives you a lot better power to be able to assign and graph all your leads and contacts based on a territory. So, and if you have any questions about this or anything else Acumatica, feel free to reach out to us. We'd love to hear from you. Also, if you like this video, please click the like button. Have a great day.